Hi, my name is Tanya Lambert, and I felt that I need to address what's going on in the world today with everybody. Um, today, we are going through a time that is not, not particularly unique. It's happened before. Spanish flu, polio, black plague, and the world, God has pulled us through it every time. Does that make it any easier? No. It's very frightening. And we, I think, react in fear in ways we may not react in, in, in normal life yelling at others about masks and fighting with people and violence isn't the way. We really got to support each other now more than ever. It may not be possible to go up to someone and give them a hug or a handshake like we used to, but we'll get there again. We will get there again. We don't need to push each other down because we're afraid of what's going on. Let's support each other, hold each other up, encourage each other, and say to each other, even if we don't know the other person, I'm here for you. If you need to talk, I'm here for you. If you need a hand or a ride to the doctor, you know, to see your loved one, whatever, I'm here for you. I love you. We really need to love each other right now. No more than ever, but every day we really got to love each other to those with loved ones family friends in the hospital sick with not just covid but illnesses like cancer blood clots i lost my best friend very suddenly uh, we'd been living to, together through college and just kept on because it was easier to share the bills uh, for 17 years and all of a sudden when we were 35 she got sick we thought she had the flu she goes to the hospital with her husband and by 9 30 the next morning she was gone it was a blood clot that had traveled to her lungs it was very sudden i was thrown into a tailspin she was my best friend and had been for so long. When you saw one of us, you saw the other. We were connected. Uh, we were there for each other through so many things. And she was gone. I was angry. I was hurt. I was frightened and scared. And a lot of you are going through that now. You're angry, you're hurt, you're frightened, you're scared. And you're pissed. It's okay to feel these things. When you lose someone or when they're sick, it's okay to feel these things. It's what you do with those feelings that count, that matter. Talk to somebody, call somebody, text somebody, write a letter. Go, if you have to go to someone's house, go to someone's house. We're social beings, we need hugs, we need talking to others, we need love. And when you're going through something like that, because I've been through it, I know how frightening it is and how unfair it is. Let others help you. That's important. I know this independence. I'm an independent person. I like to stand on my own, to do things on my own. But there are times when you're stronger together then you are apart. Let's be stronger together in this day. Let's heal each other so that when we come through this, we're a stronger people with more connections and ability to help each other than we had going through it. Let's learn whatever we're supposed to learn about and get through this. We will get through this. COVID is not the end of the world. And just because you disagree with someone's decisions doesn't mean you can't love and support them. 
even if they're not a right decision for you, it might be a right decision for someone else. And keep in mind, too, there are people that don't wear the masks because of medical issues. Hard to breathe in those masks. Some people feel claustrophobic in those masks. And a psychological problem is just as real as a physical one. Let's love each other. Have a good day.